everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and boy do I have a humongous mess on my workstation. That's because I am doing a project that's more like three projects all in one. So let's just jump right in. So let's start out by showing you which Cricut cartridge I use. Now um, if you have if you are a follower of the blog, you may have seen a recent post where we talked about using the t new tags, bags, boxes, and more Cricut cartridge. And that's the cartridge I use for this um, project today. Now I use the French fry box, which you can be found, you can find on page, sorry, I forgot to have it ready, um, on page 69 of the workbook. And I actually cut two different sizes. For the first one, I did it small. I did it at six inches. And then for the other two, I believe I did them at 10 inches. And so then I also made some tags from this um, French fried box um, set. There was kind of this, I don't know, kind of a florally tag set. And I cut one of those. And I'll show you when I get to the project what I cut it with but I cut that at three inches for the smaller box. And then for the larger box, I went back and for one of them, I cut, um, oh, I cut two different tags. Uh, let's see, page 15, let's go back. I thought, oops, nope, it wasn't page 15. Well, I'll just show you the tags when we get to them. That's what happens when you do so many projects at once. So let's move on from there. Now I use kind of some fun papers. First of all, I had some yellow paper in my um, stash that I used and I used them um, and it's just bright yellow paper and you'll see that. I use for the black box, I use this graphic 45 paper um, and it's because these are for back to school treats for my kids and for my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law does a lot with the kids with their homeschooling and so I wanted to make her a treat just to kick off the year. Unfortunately they're already, they've already had two days of school with her and one day um, without her and I'm just now getting these done, so I didn't want to wait. It's really late at my house, but I still wanted to get these finished so they well, at least will have them for tomorrow. So I used the Graphic 45 paper for her. I had a piece of this blue plaid, um, kind of a blue-yellow plaid. I don't know where I got it. It was, um, it may be from a Die Cuts with a View stack. I'm not sure, but it's just something that I found in my scrap bin. And then I had this piece of paper from um, the Write Out collection from My My or um, We Are Memory Keepers, and it has two different um, sides. It's double sided. This is the main side. This is the side I used. If I had more of it left, this one had more, um, like maybe six inch squares or something, and it had different patterns on the back. But I only used a little bit of this little swirly pattern for one extra project that is going in this. This was the main one, and that's for my daughter who's a senior. Um, I use some of this brown ribbon from Gifts International. It's um, quarter inch ribbon. And I'll show you where I use that in just a few minutes. I use some distress ink. I use faded jeans and frayed burlap distress ink. I had these little tags also that I'm using as part of the project. And these are just Avery marking tags. And I like to get them, sometimes I alter them, sometimes I just simply ink them and then I'll hand write my little message, which is what I did today. You can stamp on them. You can really distress them. These are a lot of fun and they're pretty inexpensive. So I used those. And then I had um, these charms that I just picked up at Walmart. And this is the Cousins brand Mix and Mingle. And this is, um, kind of girly pack. There's stars and bows and flowers and there's even a high heel shoe and I used a heart from there. So let's just get into the project. I've already done most of the prep work um, and I just want to move on to the project. Now this is the five inch box that I cut and um, again if you're looking for tips on using this cartridge refer to that video. This is the one where I actually use the score tool and then I just kind of free cut using this curve as a guide, um, this paper, and this is also from that paper collection from the ABC Primer, 
And um, then I cut out a couple postage stamps. I popped this one up on some foam. Second one's um, just flat down. And then I cut um, my um, flash card. And then the paper in the primer pack is double sided. And so I backed it with some scraps that I had that had this red. And so then I pulled some ribbon and this is pretty bright red, but I feel, still think it'll work. And I, um, this is um, Hollyberry from um, Three Girl Jam. And then this is um, Tuxedo Black. And then this is the tag that I showed you about. Now I cut both layers of the tag. This again is from the primer pack. And this, um, the, the back is just some black cardstock I had. And, um, but it's awful busy. So what I decided to do is I cut my hole with my, um, my hole punch kind of in the side. And I think what I'm going to do for this particular tag is I am going to cut it really kind of long um, so that the tag's kind of free floating rather than close to the box. For my other boxes, I'm not going to cut it that long. I don't want it free floating, but it was just too busy for me not to be free floating on this. So to do that, I'm just, I've already cut my ribbon here and I'm just going to run it through the hole. I've put my little message on the back and you know, yellow would have been pretty with this too. Um, so I've kind of got that just like so. And I think I'm just going to tie a knot, just, just a loose knot right here, just like that. And then we'll put some, put the ribbon through the hole here not quite sure how I'm going to work this, but let's just start by threading the ribbon and then we'll play with it and see how we can work it. We can get the red through, there we go. So typically I would bring my ribbon clear up here and tie the tag. And now that I have it done, actually that wouldn't look bad and I could save myself some ribbon. Yes, I know I'm a ribbon hoarder and I have all sorts of scraps of this that I use, but I just use so much. And with Christmas coming, I don't want to run out of holly berry even though this isn't all I have, of course. So let's just kind of shorten that up a bit and make it shorter. And we'll still kind of keep it a little bit loose but perhaps not as loose as I had originally planned. It'll still be kind of free floating there. Okay, and we'll just tie it off just on the side. And then this one's for grandma. Now, typically when I make bows, I use my um, bow maker from Three Girl Jam, but since I'm tying the bow into a hole like that, that wouldn't be as easy to do. So, oh, I like the way that's turning out though. So just kind of old vintage school, which is perfect for a teacher and that's really what the, my mother-in-law does for the kids. So we're just gonna kind of leave that dangling and there is the first box. Now let's move quickly on to the second box. This is the yellow box. Now, I didn't have my score pal on this one. So I, um, kind of played with it and I have some rough edges and that's okay. I'm just doing something really simple here. All I did was cut the square. I didn't even follow the contours. Um, I just cut a square of that plaid paper. And then I have some specialty ribbon here from Three Girl Jam. This was from the, um, this is what came with the bow maker. Now, if you haven't bought your bow maker yet, this is what originally came with it, but now there's um, a new color coming with it. So you won't be able to get this particular one. But this one is the one I received. And then I'm going to pull a piece of ice blue and I'm going to use that. Now that's not a perfect match, but for a 13 year old boy, it'll be just fine. This is also a tag from that um, same cartridge on a different page. It's a little sunshine. Then I wrote my note on the back. And this one, um, I also cut at three inches. So um, we're just gonna run that through the hole just like we did the other one. See how simple it is. I Now that all the prep work's done, these are going together very quickly. And I obviously don't need much ribbon here, especially for boys. Um, so I'm just going to cut that off and we'll run our tag. Now this particular tag has a um, slit 
more than a hole through the tag. If I can just get both pieces through the slit. And since this is for my son, I am just going to tie it into a knot. No bow, it's for him. So no bow, just knot it up here. And kind of just let it free hang down and be a mess like that. So that brings me to this one. And I think this is probably my favorite box. This is my daughter's box and it's at 10 inches. Now because it took two pieces of paper and I only had one piece of this specialty paper, I found a coordinating brown piece of paper that I cut on the back. Again, I didn't have the score tool so this was I was kind of going on my own and trying to make it match. So what I need to do with this one is I just need to trim this little bit off just because it bugs me. She'd probably never know the difference, but it bugs me. So just like that. Now, I took that brown ribbon from Gifts International and I just ran a line of ATG across the bottom and then I just looped it together, looped it on to kind of create this ruffly effect. And then I've already punched my hole here and this tag also is cut, I believe at three inches, and this is from a different box on the tags, bags, boxes, and more too. I really like the tags on this, probably more than I like the tags on the tags, bags, boxes, and more. And so I just cut that just like that. Again, I'm going very super simple on these because I, um, I just, they're just a fun little, little things. You know, I've, I want to let my kids know that they're special and sometimes all that takes is just a little time, a little time showing, hey, this is, I did this for you because I think you're special. And so um, I just wanted to do this kind of a little treat for them for their back to school. So I'm going to run, whoops, run that through my hole again. And then we'll run that through. Now this is the ice blue and the hot chocolate. My daughter really likes teal and um, brown together. In fact, she would like to redo her bedroom that way. Um, unfortunately, she's gone through and most of the teal and brown paper already, she's already got her names on. So I didn't have any teal and brown, but this I still thought was a good, um, a good place to start for a 17 year old girl starting her senior year. So there we have, this time I am cutting a bow or tying a bow, I'm sorry. And we've got the different colors hanging down there. Trim this side up just a tad. I cut that just a little bit too long. And there we have that one. So those are my three boxes. Now what am I doing with these boxes? Well, I have all sorts of goodies sitting over here that I'm going to put into them. To start with for the red and white box, or I mean the black box, I've got this craft colored um, tissue paper that I picked up at um, Joann's, oh it was on a clearance after Christmas I believe last year. So I'm going to start with a piece of that, put that inside. Now I know that piece is really super big, but that's okay because I'm just going to fold it and fold it and then stuff it in there just so that I can get lots of padding and dimension in there and really make it pop. I may go back through and trim it. I may not. We'll see. Just like that. I know that looks kind of messy, but I'm not done and it's going to continue to look even messier by the time I get in there. I wanted to get some little treats, so that's what we're starting with. For this one, since it's for my mother-in-law, I thought I would get her these Bic pins. Now, my mother-in-law is likes to make cards um, and she doesn't have a good, a lot of her pens and things are a little bit older. So I thought I would start with that, but then she could use them for school if she wanted. She could use them 
for um, whatever she wanted. And then the other thing that I thought that she really needed new of, even though she probably has one, is this Bic four color pen. She really likes to use these when she's grading the kids' work and she likes having the four different colors for different things that she's doing. So I thought I would just tuck that in there for her. And there you have a neat little packet just for her. Just a little thank you packet. Now for the kids, I've gone a little bit um, done a little bit more. You know, being homeschoolers, they don't need a lot of school supplies because a lot of it's just stuff that we keep on hand all the time. So I, but I still, you know, every kid wants something new and special. So I hope, I may not even be able to use the paper in this one. The one thing um, that they each needed was a daily planner. Now, this is really gonna be a stretch getting my daughters in there. She actually knows about her planner because she chose it. Um, because we talked about getting it. Yeah, hers won't be able to get uh, stuff in it at all. And then I have some other things to put in here. I have a little bit of trail mix that I'll put in there. And then I have a package of highlighters and a package of um, mechanical pencils. She is like me, she likes paper and she likes pens. So I knew she didn't need pens because she stocked up a lot over summer. And um, so I didn't get them any pens, but I'll put that in there. And then the other thing I did is I bought this extra sugar or this extra gum. And I just used some of the same pattern paper. I just cut a piece for the front, another piece for the back. And I really didn't have enough to even finish the whole green because I was using the scraps up. And then I tied a little brown bow and I tied, this is where I put that little heart charm. And then I inked around the edge here with the frayed burlap. And then I said, have an extra special senior year. And that's going to get tucked right in there. So there's her little box. And then for my son, um, well, he knows he's getting a planner. He hasn't seen it and he likes green. Tell you what, this is gonna be one bright container for him. But he likes green, so we'll stick that in there for him. And again, he's got some trail mix, some brain food. He's got some highlighters and a different set of pins. And then I wanted to do something a little bit different with his um, piece of gum or his pack of gum. So I was going to show you that. I cut a piece of the paper that coordinates with the front and I cut it larger than normal. So what I'm going to do, I buried my stuff, is, uh, well, I was going to look for my ATG gun, but since it seems to be hiding out, we'll just get this one. This is more um, just to get just to hold it in place kind of temporarily because well, first of all they'll open it up for the gum but I actually my plan is not for that to be the main holder my plan is for it to just fit in there and I just don't want it to slide out so that's the only reason I'm putting that little bit of tape on there because then what I wanted to do is take my little tiny attacher here and just attach it with the tiny attacher. Little more boyish, not having the extra ribbon on there. And then I thought I would even take the tiny attacher for the tag, but let's get some twine. There's a piece of twine from the twinery. This is from the lemon drop color, which is a little bit yellow or kind of almost an orangey yellow, um, but that's okay it'll work and I'm just putting just enough to have it hang and again I'm not going to um, do anything with it but just staple it down tiny attacher I love that tiny attacher so there's his gum so there we have it we have three great projects just little things little things to make them smile to let each of the three of them know how special they are and how much they mean to me and that i hope they have a great school year so thanks for stopping by today and remember to take time to look for little things to enjoy every day have a good day